I'm going to show you what happens when I use non-Tupperware. I ran out a couple years ago, and I did our last nectarines off our tree, which were very sweet, and I was excited, but I ran out of Tupperware, so I just thought if I bagged them, and then I put them in this Rubbermaid type thing, I would be okay. And that is what happened. They, you see this little hanging, fuzzy stuff with little seeds, and that's what it looks like. And then they eat a little bit and hatch and eat a little bit and hatch and they eat a little bit and hatch and then you end up with a bad infestation. And I got them years ago from some nuts that I had gotten from, like, as a gift. And um, they got in my house and I had to mothball everything um, as I have a little carpet. And from there, I had gotten rid of them and I got some grains that spilled in my garage, some millet from a Whole Foods and I don't know if they came in because of the millet or if they were in the millet but then so I have an infestation in my garage and I don't have a pantry in my kitchen and so I had all my Tupperware out there oh there's just so many in there I'm just throwing the whole thing away but I wanted to show you first what happened so um, I should have known anything that's out there that's not in Tupperware basically it has to be in the old school Tupperware with the tight seal Otherwise, it gets moths, and I learned that the hard way over <laughs> over and over again. So, just wanted to show you that, and um, check out my blog, The Secret is Gratitude, or my YouTube channel, The Secret is Gratitude. And um, I have lots of dehydrating vegetables and fruits and um, all sorts of just emergency prep things and not just other things, lots of other things. So, thanks for watching, and have a blessed day.